Alright, I decided to make a short video to teach this student how to solve this uh, cubic equation. So normally we want to solve the cubic equation, we will use a method called factor theorem. Yeah, this is the methods we will use for solving the qubit equation or power 4 also we will use the same method. So for factor theorem, first thing is uh, you need to find the constant number, in this case which is 56 here. You need to find a factor of 56. So there's a loss of po uh, possibility here for the factor of 56. It can be divided by positive negative 1, positive negative 2, or let's try 4. Yeah, can can still divide it by like positive negative 4 and so on. So over here, I actually will teach uh, the students some cheating way, uh, which is the <laughs> cheating methods, how to solve this kind of question. First is, we do not want to really try and error. Of course, we need to show the examiner we are doing the try and error methods. But over here, we can actually use the calculator to find out uh, our root, which is the answer of x here. So I'll enter here, I choose polynomial. And then the degree, which is power 3, I will type 3 here. Alright, my a is 2, b is negative 3, c is negative 30, and d will be positive 56. Alright, then I will type enter. Then the calculator, the calculator actually show me one of my x answer is negative 4. Another x answer will be 7 over 2. And last x answer will be 2. Alright, this one is from the calculator. The examiner will not give you any mark if you straight away write this. Okay, so if you want to do a try and error, don't choose something like 7 over 2 or 3.5 because you won't be so smart to suddenly find out this factor from 56 here. So normally, I will try about 2 or uh, negative 4. Alright, so we will not choose this one for try and error. So what we want to do right now is, yeah, we, we will try about P2. Okay, so you, how do you know 2 is a factor is after you insert the value, if you get 0, that means it is the factor. Alright, so 2, and then 2 power of 3, minus 3, 2 power of 2, minus 30, 2, plus 56. Alright, then you kind of like solve this one, which is like 8, 16, minus, this one will be 4, will be 12, minus 60, plus 56. Alright, then you type in the calculator for this one. Definitely you should get 0. 16 minus 12 minus 60 plus 56. Alright, you will get 0. Then equals to 0. If equals 0 basically means therefore the x minus 2 is a factor for px. Then what we want to do is, I will suggest you do a long division because it seems easier. So you will do a long division. X Since the x minus 2 is the factor, right? So I will just divide it by x minus 2. So this one is like 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 30x plus 56. Alright, long division is kind of uh, easy. Our objective is to eliminate the first term. Alright, so how to get 2x cubed? So I will just multiply with 2x square. Your 2x squared times x, I get 2x cubed. 2x squared multiplied negative 2 minus 4x squared. And then here have an invisible minus here. So you just kind of imagine 2x cubed minus 2x cubed, we get 0. Then negative 2x cubed minus negative 4x cubed minus minus give you plus, right? So you get a positive x squared here, minus 30x. Alright, bring down the 30x. And then right now your objective is to eliminate the first term, which is x squared. So I will just do plus x here. So x multiply x give me x squared. x multiply negative 2 give me minus 2x. Alright, have an invisible minus here. So we just imagine x squared minus x squared is 0. Then this one minus negative x squared become plus. So it's negative 2x. Uh, 28x, sorry, plus 56. Then what we want to do is we want to eliminate the first term. How to get negative 28x, which is minus 28. So minus 28 multiply x, minus 28x. Negative 28 multiply negative 2, plus 56. And you will realize the denominator over here will be, not the denominator, I mean the remainder here will be 0. Uh, must always equal to 0. If you divide until the end, it's not equal to 0. Something wrong for your uh, long division. Right, this one you must be very careful when you do that. All right. After that, what we want to do right now is 
then we know this cube, cubic equation actually is formed by x minus 2 and then multiply by this one, isn't it? So example, because some students might get confused here. Let's say um, uh, we want to do 8, we divide by 2, then 4, 8, 0. Then how do you get 8 here? It's basically is 2 multiply 4, isn't it? It's 2 multiply the 4, isn't it? So same idea, in order to get this equation, basically is the uh, divisor multiplied by the quotient, which is the answer, multiplied by this divisor. All right, if you get the idea, then I can say px, because they only ask us to factorize, they doesn't ask us to solve, so I no need to find what is the x answer. So I will just say px will equals to x minus 2 multiply my answer, which is 2x squared plus x minus 28. Alright, then I will just further factorize the quadratic equation. If you're not sure how to factorize, yeah, you need to go to watch the factorization video. Yeah, or you can use the calculator, but here I just um, some tissue, some manual way. This is 2x and x. Alright, for 28, um, I will choose about 7 multiply 4 maybe. Alright, then can I get 1x at the middle? So I will just do a 4 here, 7 here. Then I will do positive and negative because why? If you see carefully, this one will give you negative 7x and this one will give you positive 8x. 8x minus 7x, you get positive 1x, isn't it? So therefore, this one will be the final answer. This is how I will factorize out the px will equals to x minus 2, 2x minus 7 and x plus 4. And I know my answer is correct. Why? Because just now I already used the answer, uh, used the calculator to check for the answer. So one of the answer is x equals to negative four. You see that negative four x plus four equals to zero. You get negative four. And then this one, if you make two x minus seven equal to zero, you are getting seven over two, which is makes sense. And last one, you want to get x equals to two. You make x minus two equal to zero. You will get x equals to two. All right. This is how we solve this kind of. Uh, cubic equation. If the question asks you to solve it, you just let the px equals to zero and then you will get all these three answers. But in this case, they just ask you to factorize. So I guess this one will be the final answer I want. All right, I hope you find this video helpful to you. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.